Oh shit, that's never happened before where it just disconnects like that. Uh, so today it should be like either the last day of the season or it should be the first day of the new season. I'm not really sure because last time I finally got that card back I wanted, the Tim Burton crazy whatever, right, for getting to rank 35. And that's definitely the farthest I've ever gotten in this game on a reward track. I'm actually surprised I was able to do it. And so that was at least a nice little thing. So if the expansion came out, I want to do my first 10k draft, or not my first 10k draft, but my whatever, like my third ever. Wilds of Eldraine available now. Um, why, why does it say that? Wait, Wilds of Eldraine has been out for a while. What do you mean? That's not the new expansion. Or wait, I barely even have enough to do the 10k draft. Wait, I think it's still not there then, right? In eight hours. Yeah, what shitty timing. So now I have to wait a week. The whole appeal of that is like you want to do a draft as soon as the thing comes out. Because then it's not metagame to death or whatever. Which it probably already is in a manner of speaking. But uh, So I didn't even do these. Yeah, that was one of those like just really tired episodes. Where I was just like half asleep but I just had to get my card back. Because see it said one week left. So I didn't know exactly what day... Right, so it said, oh, in seven days it ends, or whatever. And so, you know, if, if it's seven days, then that would have been today. But I don't know if that means it's the last day, or if that means that there, you know, that is the day when it comes out, or that's the last day before it comes out. So I guess it was the last day before. So next week, I could do my 10k draft. So today, we're just going to kind of dick around, and... Uh, you know, make sure I do the daily quest, which, again, for me, is like a weekly quest, even under the best circumstance, because I can only do, like, three a week or whatever. I, why, I don't know why I couldn't click that. Um, I don't even have a mouse right now. I'm using, like, kind of a scuffed setup. Like, I'm using my old computer, my old mic. No, you know, no mouse. Which, for games like this, doesn't matter. Like, even tomorrow it'll be chest. So what I've done with my schedule is kind of a little bit casual, where every day is like uh, one category only. So I kind of reduce some of the double categories. So like instead of doing Arc slash Xbox Game Pass Gauntlet and Hearthstone on Sunday, now I'm just doing Hearthstone. So I move that to Thursday for Arc, and then what else? Like, I, I was always a fan of doing multiple categories if I would do like a long stream, but I guess I haven't been able to do that lately. So, yeah, that card back is pretty sick. So, yeah, I missed it by just one day, which is pretty bad luck almost. I wanted to do it as soon as it came out, but that's okay. We'll do it next Monday for sure then. And so I just want to make sure I don't spend any gold. Don't buy any shitty cosmetic again. I bought that 12k stupid fucking pumpkin pet for some reason. So now we have the ultimate Halloween set. With that Tim Burton card back plus, uh, plus the pumpkin. But no, it's like, uh, purchase two more Alchemy Eldraine and Wilds of Eldraine packs to earn a golden pack. What does that even mean? I don't want to do that because win rewards, daily win reward. I don't know what a gold pack even is. It almost makes me want to do it, but then it feels like a waste. Like, what if I... Huh. Maybe I've never hit that threshold either because of that happens within the course of the expansion. But I feel like I haven't bought any, like... Golden pack. Golden packs can turn six rares, each with a normal chance to upgrade to mythic rare. Uh, what? How much do these actually cost? Or you know what? I could make, uh... I could just use my gems for it. Then I wouldn't mind doing that. So I wonder if that would be sufficient. Whoops. So will this give me what it just told me? I assume. That might be my first time ever getting that, or at least I haven't done it very often. But that's always cool. Yeah, this is like our most productive season ever. We get a golden pack, we get a fucking level 35 card back in the mastery track. Somebody suggested some pretty interesting cards for, uh, you know what, maybe I'll actually look at that. Some cards, like they said, oh, if you like this one card that 
makes them lose so much health when they oh should we get a mythic wild card too that might actually be my second one because i yeah i have two mythic rare because i had one that was just kind of sitting there and i didn't even know what i wanted to do with it so my collection is actually pretty awesome if you look at it i've only been playing this for like a year but you would think I can like do pretty much anything I want, even though I keep doing the same fucking decks over and over just because I like them or whatever. I'm weird like that. But because you can't disenchant stuff, I end up really amassing an amazing... The Lost Caverns of Z Ixalan or however you say it. And I already like that expansion right there because look, it's a fucking dinosaur. Anything to do with dinosaurs is my fetish in this game because of how amazing uh, their value can be. So white or red, black or red, green, so we can play the little Sarkhan thing. Um, let me actually look at those because it's not like, oh, they're giving me advice or in some kind of, you know, improper way. Uh, I'll go here. Let me see. It was on one of my videos that I uploaded and he's like, oh, you should use all these kind of cards that cuck your opponent and troll them. And they're not blue cards, but they're black cards. So that makes it feel a little bit more like something I'd actually be willing to do because of course I wouldn't be willing to do uh, anything blue or although I did kind of bite the bullet to do it for hex proof purposes it could be this one or it could be the last one let me see it's like a queen card that does something uh... oh, I can't even find it If you like painful quandaries, so that's the one that's like a Lothab card or whatever, anti-spell, like every time they cast a spell, which includes playing creatures, because of course they're called creature spells in this game, which is always very confusing, um, you have to pay five life or discard a card, which is just really fucking annoying to deal with. Uh, so, Tergrid, God of Fright. I think I did look at this too when I read that, but let's actually see. We could always make her because it's so... I do have so much in my disposal here as far as wild cards. But I won't just do it on a whim. Let's actually see. Tear Grid. God of Fright. Maybe I even already have her too because I do have such a bustling collection. Menace. God. Legendary creature. 4-5. Five, for 5. Whenever an opponent sacrifices a non-creature... Sacrifices a non-token permanent or discards a permanent card... You may put that card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. But that kind of relies on you having like that other card there. Right? It's not doing enough on its own. Target player loses three life unless they sacrifice an online permanent to discard a card. Untap it. I don't really get how it works with the lantern though. Like, how does it switch between the two? You have to pay like four to get the... Or like you get to choose and then you get to pay the rest to... To change it to the other one? I don't really know, actually. She's not even mythic either. Each player sacrifices two, two creatures. What's the other one? It is cool, at least. One of the most funny and evil cards you can play. There's a bunch of support for that kind of gameplay. Yeah, see, that's maybe my reservation. Is that I don't really care about the support aspect of it. We'll make one of each just for the fuck of it. Sure. The thing is, it doesn't even really fit with my deck, though, because... Oh, and I, I already decided what my... I did like a little mini challenge between a couple of decks to determine what colors my draft is going to be. So it's going to be a green slash black hybrid because those were the two decks that came out on top. Which I don't know how it came up with black because I don't even use black, but that is what it was. So I could fit that into something, but the problem is I don't have enough... Like, I don't have enough land to actually make that even possible. So I'd wonder how that's going to go. So for example, what even is this? Why did I have a blue deck of any kind ever in my life? Probably just to complete a daily quest, which I maybe even failed to do. Because I don't even get it. I have the three here from last week. So it's not like I had done that because they're like partially completed. So it's not like I just got them. So let's just play the red and the green one. And let's say she show off that card back for what it's worth. I forget which one was actually what I wanted to use. 
So with this one, you certainly couldn't use those black cards. I might put them in the other one, though, just for the fuck of it, just in case I get to try them, but you have to remember that I only get the black mana from mana generating minions, which is often not enough, like the carotid and stuff. I guess I'll just go with this one. This deck always has, like, a weird quality to it, the Sarkhan stuff. Whenever I'm put, like, sort of pitting it against another deck to see which one's going to do better, and then I get some reward, like, oh, that'll determine what I, what next Mythic card I make will be either red if red does better, or whatever, green if green does better. It always wins those matchups, but then when it actually does win, then I keep playing as it, you know, after that, and then it does, like, shit, and then I get farmed by people. So I don't really get it. It only does well when the pressure is high. Uh, this one is fine then. Or maybe you don't even do the card back from here. You just do it from uh, like your overall profile. Right, I don't know if it's tied to your deck like in Hearthstone. So yeah, getting to that was actually super impressive though. All things considered. Card sleeves. Where is it? That one's pretty cool, too. The, uh, whatever. You just, I don't remember even why or how I got that, but it was pretty recent. Yeah, that's got to be one of the coolest ones in the whole game, though. And I don't even play as black that much, but just... Who cares about that? Like, it's just good. So the companion is the jack o lantern clown thing. And then I'm getting kind of sick of this avatar. But at least it was one that you had to kind of earn in the same way through the reward track. It's really the only one that I have that's not like a starter one or whatever. Season ends in 16 days, but that's nothing to do with the expansion. Mastery ends in 7 hours. So I guess I will try... Uh, what do you call it? Let's try... Uh, <coughs> let's try... Uh, to put those two black cards in there just for the fuck of it, even if I know it's going to be pointless. It's not bad if you can actually find the means to play it, which, of course, some of the cards in here are built around that very idea, like just trying to... Uh, trying to basically play the blue cards, even though you don't have blue stuff in there. Not saying they're very high value, either. <laughs> you can see me struggle to do that because I... I don't have a proper mouse trackpad. You can just double tap it. Um, is there something I'd want to get rid of? Or do I just want to deal with it? You would think you could get away with not having all this land. Like, how many land do I actually have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Let's deal with it just to see, but... You know, a lot of it you're going to be getting from the minions anyway, or at least that's the idea. So we'll still do a rotation of it. As far as, like, whatever. We'll keep playing as one until I lose, but you almost want to find a way to play as both because... I thought I got to gold. I thought that was the whole point of how well I did with the fucking... Whatever, getting to rank 35 would have required me to win a lot of games or something. I think I've only really played in Historic my whole time playing this game too, which is kind of surprising, but I always do like those kind of formats. You can't lose it till the season ends. So was that last month and I'm somehow... How, how could it have been two weeks though since then? I don't even get it. I guess because I play such short, underwhelming sessions, it feels like that. This position is kind of hard to do. I'm not used to it. Not that you can really tell. If I did face cam, it'd be comical. I can't believe I wasted a mythic card on this, though. I somehow thought it was like an enchantment or something different. That would have been like... I don't know. It, it would have been better that way because people often don't remove those as effectively. Getting rid of like a 1-1 one, one is not a big deal. Says the guy who never has any removal in any of my deck. I'm actually playing on Steam, too, for the first time. Not that it should really make any difference. Like, it's still the same account. But I always just play it through the 
launcher of the game itself, I guess. But just because I'm on my other computer, uh, well, I guess it wouldn't have really been that big of a deal to download it that way, but somehow it was just easier to do it through Steam. And I'm surprised by the Steam reviews for this game. They're pretty bad because it's like a 6 out of 10, and it's like, uh, you know, a lot of the recent ones are mixed, I guess, because of all these crossovers that they're kind of shoving down your throat or just that feel sort of contrived and weird. Which I did kind of observe that idea, but I just didn't think... I mean, I even was saying like, oh, this game is better than Hearthstone. Maybe not, and you know how much I love that, but not in terms of this specific version of the game, but just magic in general certainly has that vibe to it, that it just has so much depth and all the variety of different things you can do. But like the limitless nature, which I don't know how much that translates to other formats of the game, like how you would play in real life and stuff having, you know, up to 250 cards in your deck, or having infinite number of minions on the board, and all those kind of things. It might not seem like a big deal, but it can be astronomically impactful, because it's just like... It opens up so many possibilities that other card games wouldn't necessarily have. Right, when some of them are so rigidly structured, you can only have X number of, of spell and trap cards, or X number of of minion spaces or cards in your deck are often very structured like you can have only 30 or only 60 or whatever it is um, I don't mind just getting flying stuff but the whole meme of this deck has always been that the flying value is such shit because or not flying but just uh, the dragon value is often not very good you know, you're, you're getting like a 4 mana 3-3, three, three, 5 mana 4-4 four, four or something at times. The only well statted ones are like mythics. You, you know, to get a 4 mana 4-4 four, four dragon, you have to actually use a mythic wild card to do it. You might say, oh, that's a trade-off to be able to have flying, but it's not that big of a deal. Will I actually be able to get this effect? That would be pretty cool. If I could. Just go with the flying, go with the flying. You could block it, but it's okay. You could also sack into the 4 too, there. So yeah, last week all I did was just literally log in, play a couple games just to try to get the card back. The one before that, I guess I did a little bit longer of a session to try to see if I could work my way towards doing it, and I surprisingly could. But now it's going to tempt me in the future to try to do the same thing, but I just don't think I'm going to have enough time to even attempt doing that. Basically, all you have to do is actually win games every time you play to do, like, the whole daily uh, experience bonus thing. You get, like, 15 wins, which would take a very long time to do, though, at the pace that I play. Or, on top of that, uh, like... You would try to do that, or you would just try to actually do the daily quest. Because, like, the amount of experience you need is kind of, like, a little deceptive. The amount of experience you need to get from, like, level 10 to 11 versus to get from 34 to 35 is basically the same thing, I think, right? You only need, like, a thousand, so it doesn't really get more difficult, at least as far as I could tell. So you could just attack with basically everything. You should be able to... Do that, and I think it would be automatic. That might be the first time I actually see this interaction. I've obviously played this guy a number of times since I wasted a Mythic Wildcard on him. I've had him in here, but I don't think I've ever seen the effect. But again, how hard would it be to do 1-1 one, one removal here? He's almost dead. I maybe should have just attacked with everything. Four or five. That was probably stupid, actually. Right? But yeah, flying can be so cheese sometimes. This is the fact that you can't even attack their stuff. Certain unique mechanics in the game.
Yeah, but the way I played this game is actually kind of funny because it sort of shows you what I'm all about sometimes, which can be annoying even for me, like with how, you know, I could play the same deck over and over for literal years and it wouldn't bother me because the it might seem strange, but it's like the type of ideation where you, you know, somebody who listens to the same song over and over for like weeks at a time, it's like you just somehow you really enjoy it so why does it matter but for the purpose of watching it or whatever doing it this way it can be stupid but it's more so like the variety comes from what you're playing against or it comes from just the gradual experience of like making little changes to it over time but not uh, like sort of iterating rather than just creating new ones or trying you know vastly different things <sighs> yeah, he cucks my ability to even see that one fucking time in my life. So that card kind of sucks, or again, you'd have to give a hexproof or something to actually make it good. Or you should just have to actually play it once you, uh... Once you decide to... What does that mean? It gets a double attack for a strike or something. A little late for stream, I guess. It's actually, as of late, it's been pretty much normal for this to be the case. I'm not actually as tired today though as some I've been some of these days. What is that YouTube link? I'll have to check. On here, I guess. I hate how this game cuts out the audio when you, uh... When you tab out or do something. Play sound on stream. Okay, let me look at it. Perfect time to win the game, too, as I'm distracted, not even looking at it. At least this game lets you properly see your card backs, which itself is kind of surprising. Uh, can you post it again, actually? That's always what happens. Like, if somebody posts something like that, I can't click it because I'll click it on my phone where I'm watching the chat. So in order to see it on my PC or to show it on stream, assuming I wanted to, I wouldn't be able to actually do it because... We're just getting spoiled with wild cards here, though. Um, yeah, I might have never really had two mythic at once because I always just can't hold on to it. I forget what the vault thing exactly means. You change one mythic rare wild card, two rare wild cards, three uncommon, unlock vault by collecting cards. 32%. At one point, I almost thought that meant like, oh, that's the percentage of cards in the game that you've collected. Like, I have 32% of all the cards in the game. I wonder what percentage I would actually have. There's like over 10,000 cards, I think, in this game. And I do have like probably a couple thousand, so that might not even be too far off. But the whole underlying challenge of this game was to try to collect every green card in the game, basically. Which would be basically impossible to actually do. So, we just need the green deck, but since we won that, I'll keep playing as this. And we basically have enough to do the 10k draft, so I'll definitely do it ne next week because I want to do it the first time I play after the expansion actually comes out. What was for dinner? Um, what did I have? Oh, KFC. Yeah, I switched over from primary Domino's diet to primary KFC diet. What is this? 7.7 .7 million views. From eight years ago. I don't think I've ever heard this ice, right? I find it nice how both Americans and non-Americans agree that it represents America perfectly.
<laughs> shit. Okay, not, not, don't do that line, dude. Skip that line. Fuck. Should do one of these for every country. The sad part about, uh... Yeah, sushi. Sushi, the most American thing of all, am I right? What the fuck? And bed, bath, and beyond. Band-aids. Like, wh what are some of these? Popeye. Only Popeye I know is the chicken place. Popeye's fucking Louisiana kitchen. Books, yeah. Aren't Americans supposed to be dumb and they can't read? Ha ha. Somebody actually said that, like, on one of my videos, like, are you an American who can't even find their country on the map? That's a very sp oddly specific uh, insult. Like, I might be a moron sometimes, but what does that have to do with being American? And what does it even mean? Like, okay, you could be, you know, it doesn't really say anything. Like, what is an American? North America? South America? And, like, what ethnicity is tied to being American? Like, not, you know, it's the most undefinable thing ever. What was I going to actually do? Oh no, I was saying, it's kind of sad that I don't listen to music anymore for any of my uh, series. Because I always liked that for like, wow, sometimes back in the day. I didn't do that during my hardcore classic series, but... Oh, here we go, fucking My Little Pony. No wonder this game has mixed Steam reviews. Sometimes if you, you can answer your own question if you look deeply enough. But basically, I would always do that during chess, but now that I'm playing chess in that fucking game in chess exclamation mark or in other other capacities then I don't feel as inclined to do that but that is something I almost am gonna miss out on a little bit Red Dragon kind of an underrated movie the fucking uh, Silence of the Lambs sequel thing or no maybe I'm mixing it up that might be a prequel I was surprised that that one got such negative reviews, though. Hannibal, it's sort of like showing him in his element before, uh, or I mean after, Silence of the Lambs, and it was actually pretty good. I just always hate when they change the actors or actresses, like, uh, yeah, that's what you deserve. That was just like a cry of shame that you have to play this fucking My Little Pony, dude. You don't deserve to play this game. This is for hardcore tryhards only. We will still have to wait till we lose one before I can do the other daily class. Australian team, German team. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to listen to those right now, but I'll look at them. Are they like the same, uh, the same person who made them? That would be interesting. Okay, three mana, four, four, which is like God tier value. As far as this is concerned, but I still don't like it. That's got to be the biggest waste of a of a wild card, though, that I've ever seen in my life. The effect is good if you can actually do it, but you won't be able to. That's the problem. Like, ever. Or you should almost just save it and not play it till then. <laughs> just different songs that represent the country. Any country can be reduced to its lowest common denominator. Try doing that with India or China, though, where you have over a billion people. Yeah, we got three mana. And uh, that black obviously never comes into play because we have no way whatsoever with this deck to actually get it. Okay, let's see. Do like that. Not really even trying to do anything today. I guess I'm just trying to, uh... Save up the 10k, which I guess I already have. I definitely won't get tempted by any cosmetic here, because we got the ultimate. We gotta get at least one good cosmetic per year. 
So last year I got that Sarkhan Black Dragon thing. I think it was last year. And then this year I got the pumpkin, I guess. So I did wait a long time before I got another one. Then we get this thing. Normally I, I don't like the border of it, but even with that one, it's not too bad. Ward, that just means it's not going to die. Comes target of a spell and her ability. Or wait, it's not even going to stop that though, is it? Good day at work. Yeah, just busy. Okay, we're pretty much just fucked, but it's kind of a good thing. Blessing in disguise because we get to, uh... We get to do the other daily quests then, that means. Exactly as planned. Throwing on purpose. Yeah, it depends how you define a good day. Some people would be like... Oh, it was a highly productive day where I got a lot of work done and I was so busy. And that's exactly what I don't want to do at work. I just want to sit there and goof around and, and not have to work. So that would be a better day. That's how modern philosophy works at least. Sure, I'll say yes. I don't have any problem with it. It's a weird thing that this game asks you that though. That almost seems like a feature you would have in like a beta of a game. Like to see whether, you know, you're giving them feedback. But I have to wonder how this game alienated people so much. Magic the Gathering is the most ubiquitous, well-known universal card game out there, and how come people seem to hate this so much now, at least? Not that I'm judging it entirely by the Steam reviews, but I always question that too. Like, why doesn't it seem more po why isn't it more popular on Steam, like the Steam charts or or whatever, or like you know, on Twitch? It's not that big of a category on Twitch compared to Hearthstone. So, like, I'd even be rooting for it compared to that. Uh, you know, Hearthstone should not be higher than this game on Twitch in the year 2023 because this has only been out for, like, five years. That's been out for, like, ten. The state of the game is at least better than that, arguably. So, even as somebody who might be biased in the other direction. Oh, here we go with the heal shit again. What a creative original deck. So if I get this going, I would be able to play some of these black spells here. It's called military? What, were you goof around? I kind of doubt that. Uh, wait, how am I even able to do this? What? One, two, three. During your turn, you may pay two and exile this card. Oh. Cast it later for his foretell cost. Not even really worth it, though. Oh, well, we're getting all the cards that we just made, though, huh? You kind of need a little bit of support and synergy for this. I saw a video how the U.S. military is woke. I mean, there are some interesting things that they've tried to do which have nothing to do with being the military so I have to wonder why they feel the need to do that uh, what does the ADF stand for Australian defense I don't know what the F is uh, I don't get how this works like okay you do it but whenever opponent sacrifices a creature target player is three I'll do that, I guess, first, and then you can just keep doing it. Right, he's gonna always be the target player. Unless they sacrifice an online permanent or discard a card. So that's kind of cute, but it's not really my style of play. But if it's just as easy to do, I guess it's fine. So if he trades in, I'm fine with it. If he doesn't trade in, I'm also fine with it. Ah, force, right? <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't think I would ever want to be doing that myself, though. It's just not my style of thing, I guess. Yeah, like, there's bathrooms now here that say, like, uh, speaking of woke or whatever, there's bathrooms that say, like, all genders, 
uh, welcome. Like, <laughs> they're not following any sort of gender, uh, whatever, conformity. Which is fine, it just feels like there's a lot of unnecessary things that people do just for the fuck of it. You get rid of this, I can't really do anything about the 6-6 six, six, though. You get to play all the cards that didn't, uh, th or that we just made for black. They kind of just shoehorned in here. What I sacrifice is a little bit of land, so I only have 14 land and a 60 card deck, but because we have all these mana generating minions, I guess it's not so bad. And I swear to god, the Keratid has been in one of my green decks literally since I started playing this game. I've never not had it in there. <laughs> Trans Awareness Week. Yeah, and there's always like this weird misframing of like, you know, if you're critical of the, if you're critical of the sort of in your face nature of it, then people will somehow, you know, straw man that like, uh, each player sacrifices two creatures. Uh, that one has protection from black though, so it shouldn't even be sacrificed. Fuck. Um, you know, they'll somehow say like, oh, you have something against it or this or that, but that's such an outward standard fallacy, like false duality. Really, like, there's a lot of things I don't want to hear about on a daily basis. That doesn't mean that you're not okay with that, or it's actually almost the opposite. You wouldn't need to place that undue emphasis if it was just a normal fact of life. Right, like the whole uh, walking on eggshell sensitivity of the modern era in a lot of subjects too, not just that. But it's like, uh, for example, if you can't make fun of something, if you can't make jokes about something, then it's not truly a normal part of society. And right, you're not really at peace with it if you have to like kind of couch everything you say about it. So you should be able to make fun of it. You should be able to whatever not not have to worry about what you say about something so we did what i had to do there i don't know what else i even want to do i did get to see at least some of those black cards i'm almost getting sick of the sarkon deck but i have to pay it respect because it has done pretty well OG magic, but then why are you playing this version of the game, which is not OG at all? And I wonder how these expansions work in terms of the modern physical game. Like, are these the same expansions that are happening in real life, assuming that they, you know, keep up with it in exactly that same pace? Or I have no idea. Like I, basically, I want to play a different version of magic at some point. So if I ever complete my whole collection in this game or collect every green card in the game, then I'll replace this series with magic in some other form. Which there are other ways to play it, like uh, some sort of custom deck, whatever, thing that like the one that I used to play Warcraft TCG. Just like games that don't exist or you can't really even play anymore. It just lets you sort of put the pictures of the cards in and just play it manually. Which I kind of don't like because, you know, especially when you're playing it for the first time, it's a lot harder to learn how it works and people are going to troll you and cheat and stuff. That's how it was sometimes in the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, like Kaiba Corp, you have to like manually do everything and obviously there's some honor code issue with that sometimes. Usually it wasn't a problem, but sometimes people would genuinely not even know how certain things would work. I don't like the alphabet club. <clears throat> yeah, people always take things too far. And then that creates like a pushback on the other side. Yeah, this is good. I always find the haste aspect of it funny though. Like that really matter. 
Like, I'd rather it be a one cost without haste, or even without flying, too. But, I mean, being a dragon, obviously, makes that fine. We get a face-off between my old pet and my new pet here. Which, that one didn't really cost all that much, though. This guy can give everybody haste whenever you want. I wonder how common it is for people to use, like, one of every... <sighs> one of every different land type, right? Like, you, you still have, obviously, all fire land, but... Just, like, choose a different one for each picture of it. That just might be one of those weird things that I do. Just because I'm like that. But it is kind of interesting. <clears throat> or there's such a regression with some of the issues like it there, there used to be this big thing or something even i said and i almost got in trouble for right hypothetically let's say devil's advocate back in the day 10 years ago i would have argued let's say for uh there shouldn't be women's sports there should just be sports period and the best athletes should just compete and that's that right like so like l let the play speak for itself and the best players play it should be a meritocracy. And then it went from that, like saying, oh, that's anti-women, to now, if you say that, if you said the same thing, you'd say, oh, that's pro, you know, LGBT and stuff. So in other words, that's what ended up happening anyway, right? Like, oh, let anybody compete because now that's what's happening. And so whether that's fine or not, it's ironic how it came full circle. So what was once called anti-woman, now if you say, if you say the same thing, now it's a good thing, or if you argue against it, now all of a sudden you're anti, you know, LGBT and all this kind of other stuff. So I guess I was right after all, even though people shat on me for saying it, like... <laughs> a regular JK Rowling, that one. I hate when people like sort of backbite the very people who helped make them. It doesn't mean you can't be critical of someone just because, you know, they helped your career and stuff like Emma Watson talking shit about JK Rowling or, uh, fuck, I just wasted one to get, I wasted two to get one. What a moron move. Uh, that or like even uh, Mark Wahlberg talking shit about Boogie Nights saying like, oh, I wouldn't have done it or I wish I hadn't done it. Even though that was like such a breakthrough moment in his career, just because of the subject matter or whatever, but that's like such a ungrateful thing to say, basically. What's your favorite color? Probably green. And even in this game, how fitting. Yeah, I love how people ask that when you start playing Magic, and that shows you what a Magic noob I was. I answered like, oh yeah, green or orange or something. And it's like, oh, we're talking about the game, dude. Like, what, what color in Magic is your favorite? But then again, how would they expect me to know that if I just started playing either? Orange is yours? I do like that, too. What are the chances? Tandem takedown. Up to two target creatures get plus one plus zero. They each deal damage equal their power to another creature, planeswalker, or battle. I guess the only problem with that is you have to do it to the same creature. What am I doing? Just playing a card game. What do you mean? I gotta find like a better position for this. I feel kind of like I'm trying to sort of lie down as I'm streaming, but it's not really that comfortable. Okay, this game is kind of not interesting me too much though. I guess I don't really have anything to, uh, I don't have anything to really gain from doing this. My voice went all weird. I don't know. Must be the mic. The blue yeti has a mind of its own. 
I gotta find a way to do ASMR again. Not that I really want to do it, but... So it's a, like a four... Let me actually test my mic settings a little bit. It's at like volume level four, I think. What if I go here and then I kind of do a more whispery? So it's like volume level one now, so it should be very quiet. <laughs> Please don't do ASMR. I sound far away now. I can't really do the quiet voice though anymore. I don't know. It sort of feels unnatural. What the fuck is this guy doing? I should totally incorporate that as a form of content though. Not that I would do it a lot, but there was a certain value to it. I've just gotten so used to talking more and also projecting my voice at a higher level that it's just not... I'm no longer a quiet gamer in any sense. Whether it be the, the amount that I talk or the, the volume of which I talk. I love all these like pseudo professional setups that some of these streamers have. Like you go on some streamer and it's like they have literally like a 4K IMAX camera where their background looks like it's literally holograms and special effects from Hollywood and stuff. It's like, dude, I don't even do face cam, but like if I did, it wouldn't look that good. I don't know what they're doing. Like, like there's always that absolute tendency that's like, oh, you know, this person aspires to be a a guitarist but they need a better guitar or they aspire to be a writer but they need a better pen or a better whatever some device or tool to do it but it's like if you truly want to do it or if you're truly going to be good at it it doesn't matter what tool you use it matters what you you know what comes from within so there's always like an excuse like oh well, i would have done it if i only had that better means of doing it or whatever like i, I won't try until i have the perfect device or technique or or something qualifier what did i publish my paper on uh, psychology what is this guy doing dude i always like to use that analogy like you don't need to be a chef to judge food. You can just taste it and see whether it's good or not. So you don't need to be a musician to judge music or you don't need to be a chess player to judge chess or whatever the case may be. You can just, uh, I've gotten a lot of cheese victories today where I'm just winning by default basically. Okay, so we got as much gold and stuff as I need. We're ready to do the 10k draft, which I will do next time. It'll only be like a three game thing though. Hopefully you could do that one with the new set. I should almost clean up some of the stuff with my decks. They certainly don't give you any shortage of deck slots. So you have a hundred just even free to play to whatever extent you can do it. I do have some mythic capability, but I don't know what I want to make with it. I almost thought the Turgrid chick would be uh would be mythic, but she's not. So, it's okay. I mean, at least we got a chance to play it. Which is surprising. I normally never get them. When I first make a card or just add a card to my deck. You know, like Dark Matter Dragon Fruit or something. It takes me weeks to actually play it because... Or like Sargeras. I still haven't played Sargeras. And that expansion is almost fucking over. No, it's not ending, but I don't even know what I want to do. How long has it been? Like, all these feel sort of... I guess it's been almost an hour. Yeah, let's actually look at this, maybe. The problem is it won't show you in the game. It'll be uh, in a fucking browser page, but I guess it's okay. Let's spoil what the draft is going to be. Let, let's metagame in advance here a little bit. Even though I never do that. 
I mean, I, I certainly am happy about the whole dragon element, just the fact that, or not dragon, dinosaur element. Gigantosaurus and uh, that other dude, uh, Galta, are like two of my favorite cards, definitely, in the game. Lost Caverns of Vixalon card image gallery. Let's just look for like some sort of sexy dinosaur. Who cares about white? Who cares about blue? Local store. That's just what I wonder. So this must be a real physical set. But it's not entirely a physical set. Because some of these cards will be arena specific I think. This is both a good and a bad decision, but... Yeah, it starts with the worst too, dude. Save the best for last. I don't know how they even decide that. Why is white first? It's not like an alphabetical order. This is black 109. I almost want to try to get into the black mindset a little more. I've always liked the aesthetic of it, but I've never really played as it much, or I almost save it for drafts. Like, I only want to play green and constructed, and I only want to play black and drafts, but I end up obviously messing around with other things. I was promised a dinosaur, and I want to see it, dude. Which color is not on the $100 note? Green, yellow, or blue? Your $100 note or my $100 note? Because mine doesn't have blue or or yellow, does it? Yours, I'm not sure. I assume probably yellow. Huge fruits and a lie. Red, oh wow, it really did save the best for last with the green. And look how imbalanced that is. Like, black has over 100 cards, and red only has 89, if that means that's for the expansion, so. Yeah, eSports. How about just actual real-life card game tournaments, which nobody probably does anymore. Or, I mean, obviously they do, but people are getting so excited about that. Like, somebody won a Yu-Gi-Oh! tournament with Exodia in the year 2023. Crazy, wow. Like, it wouldn't have been that big of a deal, but just... The novelty of it, I guess. So there are going to be some dinosaurs here for sure. Let's see if there's any that really stand out in terms of value. Not even, don't even care about effects or synergies or win conditions or anything. Just give me a 5 mana 10-10 ten, ten again that lets me just play it and get removed for like 2 mana by them. And you get clown for it. I guess I couldn't have asked for a better expansion actually for my purposes, but. Blue was the answer you win. Oh, that was actually the thing? Maybe I should just do a just chatting stream where like I just do fucking, there must be some online game like that where you just get to uh, do that against random people, like Jackbox Party Pack type games. We'll do Scribble IO again, or those were like my chess, Equivalent games, right? Like that I would do between categories. I would do scribble IO. I would do chess. I would do like uh, I Can't remember like sometimes card games Hearthstone would, would fill in like that category at least Look up hundred dollar. No, okay Hang on Oh, whoops what happened? Banknotes of Australia, uh, of Austra Australian dollar. So it's going to be 1, 2, 5, 10, 20, 50, 100. So it has blue. What do you mean, though? Well, blue is on there. Light blue and gray. It should have been yellow, then. Austria. No, it says Australian. Bank notes of Australian dollar were issued by the Reserve Bank in 1966 when they changed the currency and replaced the pound with the dollar. 
Five dollar original. Oh, that's the first ones. Third series polymer, 2015. They're doing it like it's sports cards. The yellow is on there. Green is on there. I mean, technically blue is on there though, because if you look close enough, right, there is some blue there. So technically, I guess you can count that as green, but this is green, this is blue, but that's just being too technical, I guess. What was I going to look up? Something to do with magic, like, uh, esports, like salary, or not even esports, but just the actual game itself. Like magic, the gathering, bro. Salary. It's not a very good number, I don't even think, but 75,000 on contract in addition to opportunity to earn prize money. At the core of this new venture, Magic Pro League, 32 of the world's best players competing in a weekly series of matchups, events, tournaments called Mythic Championships. Can you earn money playing Magic the Gathering? There's certainly ways to make money, but none, no get rich quick schemes. <laughs> You need modern notes? Well, I believe you. I'm just saying you can always find like a loophole. Professional magic annual salary. Okay, let's try another one. Did I win that last one or not? I don't even remember. Let's just play one more. It's green. Can't what? Oh, my turn for two truths, one lie. I'm not very good at this actually, but. Okay, I, uh, uh. I'll say it in such an unconvincing way that you'll just know. Or I often give multiple truths, multiple lies, or whatever. My birthday is in January. My birthplace is in New York. And my favorite food is pasta. Can't always find a loophole. And that would just be the foretell thing, but I still don't really get it. During your turn, you may pay only two. You can see the problem is here, you have enough mana to do whatever you want, but you can't do it because you have to deal with the fact that, uh, you have to deal with the fact of the other color, right? So that's something you're not gonna be able to do. Ever since I added these black cards in here, I haven't seen the blue ones at all. Like all the hexproof random stuff that I have. That'll be my best way of being quiet or like emulating the ASMR styles because I'm so tired. That'll have no choice but to be like whispery that way, but. You go with one, which is what? I don't even remember what I said now, but. Birthday's in January. Birthplace is in New York. And favorite food is pasta. No, that's actually true. So the lie would have been my favorite food is pasta, even though I do like it and have it a lot. My favorite food is probably pizza instead. What is with everybody going AFK today? Gotta be some unhealthy fast food type shit. 
But of course, technically not even fast food because Pizza Hut has to make it from scratch. And that's a fine dining restaurant quality food. <laughs> even though, I mean, even Domino's takes a certain amount of time to make it. I actually hate Domino's Pizza. It's kind of like cardboardy. Favorite food is toasted sandwiches. Nice. <laughs> Two, you like pizza. Three, you hate Parmas. What's Parmas? You just kill the sucker, I guess. How did I do this position the other day? I can't remember now. Feels kind of a little bit different now. I need like a way to, uh, I don't know. Chicken Parmesan. There's no way that you liking pizza could be a lie. I mean, everybody likes pizza. I probably will say the lie is your favorite food is toasted sandwiches. Or he'll do a troll answer like, no, it's that I like pizza because I actually love it. Oh, they are your favorite? Four, four. Yeah, we have enough gold to do what I want to do. So this is kind of just like a dud of an episode. Not as bad as last time though, at least. I can't wait to see what we're going to try to save for in the master retreat this time. You are professional. Professional. I don't know what that means. Galta could save the day. Actually, if only I had a rebuke or something too. Could have almost just killed him there. He shouldn't be able to kill me though, so. Okay, so basically, have you ever seen the songs memes that says something like a dog tour spelled with a K? I'm sure I've seen it, but I don't remember exactly what it is. How is Babby formed le level of stuff? Uh, okay, let me, let me do one more. So I've been to, I've been to Texas. I've been out of the country and if I ever spell something wrong like that you're re refreshing that or referencing that maybe he's doing it right there in fact because he just m misspelled something what did I say I said you already know that how do you know that I guess that is a weird way to say it I should have said, like, I've been to a specific country, like, I've been to India before, or I've been to Spain or something. I probably said it maybe at some point. So, between this and Galta, you should actually have it because you have to block Galta in such a way that you're not going to get killed by the thing, by the piercing damage, trample damage. You said you've never been out of the country before. Okay, so that's kind of cheating. Let me try to come up with another one. I've never gotten a ticket before.
Uh, kind of a hard ice you coming up with good ones, let me think. I have two degrees and I have uh, arachnophobia. I always find that one funny because it's like, even if you don't have arachnophobia, like you're, oh, you're deathly afraid of spiders. It's like, who likes spiders? I guess some people actually do. Some, I know someone who has one as a pet, actually. But basically, you know, like, you might not like them, but that doesn't mean you have a phobia of them. There's all these, like, labels and excuses that people make. It's like, you know, you might have social anxiety or you might just not like to talk to people or... You know, you have all these different preferences. You like to be clean. That doesn't mean you're OCD or that even if you are, like, these labels don't really mean what people think they mean or they don't really define people the way that they seem to. One is a lie. What did I even just say? I said, I've never gotten a ticket. I never gotten a ticket. Uh, what, what were the other ones I even said? I can't even remember. I have two degrees. And what was the third one? Uh, oh, I have arachnophobia. Now, one is actually true. I never have gotten a ticket. I do have two degrees. And so, yeah, I actually don't have arachnophobia. <laughs> Again, not that I like spiders, but I don't really mind them that much either. Don't you love how this just trolls you with the reward track as you go later on? Like, I can't wait till I get reward track level 50, 100, whatever, and then I get absolutely jack shit from it. Like, it, your reward for getting there is nothing. Less than you were even getting before. That was actually kind of a good one, because you might not... I've never touched a wild wombat, wild kangaroo, or wild echidna. What even is an echidna? I know it from, like, Sonic, right? Like, Knuckles is an echidna. That's the only time I've ever heard that word. I honestly don't even know what that means. It's like a porcupine. Never touched a wild wombat. Look it up, okay. Let's see. Knuckles the Echidna, that should be the first one that pops up. But he's not really a porcupine. Uh. Oh, I misspelled it. Echidna. Yeah, how does that make any sense? He doesn't even look like that. Or maybe his hair is supposed to be like a thing, but it's really not. What makes Knuckles an Echidna? Is the only remaining descendant of the Knuckles clan a group of Echidnas that lived 4,000 years ago in what appears in the Sonic games as the Mystic Ruins? I don't get it, though. He just has hair. He's not really... Wait, is that actually a real movie? I can't believe they made, like, three of those, the Sonic movies. When, when people first saw the trailer, they were kind of clowning it, saying, oh, it's going to be trash. And then they fell in love with Jim Carrey's performance or something. I haven't seen, like, any modern movies, like, in forever, as much as I... Obviously, used to have such a passion for them. Like, for movies in general. I just... Like, what were the last movies I saw in a the theater? I saw... I, I could do two truths, one lie. Which one do you think I haven't touched? Uh, you probably haven't touched uh, Echidna. Because it's, uh... Gonna hurt you with the spikes. All are Aussie animals. Yeah, I'll, I'll actually use that as a... Not just as a commentary point, but actually as a true truth one lie. But, but the last three movies I saw... It's a kangaroo. Oh, interesting. 
The last three movies I saw in theater are Avatar The Way of Water, Megan, the movie with Allison Williams about the robot chick thing, and I'm trying to think of what would even be plausible though, like those were at least recent movies, so and the one that you spend the most time thinking about must be the lie, right? But maybe not. I can't even think of any other movies like The Exorcist, uh, Believer. I'm surprised that flopped so hard too. Who is the lie? What, Megan? No, it was actually Exorcist. The way I said it almost telegraphed it because I took so long to figure it out. So yeah, those are the last two movies I've seen at least. I saw Avatar like December 16th and then I saw Megan, I think like on my birthday maybe. Uh, of this year, like January 6th or something. Oh, <laughs> you were trying to fool me. I had like this big fucking icy thing drink too while doing it, I remember. I always like to get in the mood of it. Like I'll get a big thing of popcorn, I'll get like a big... Because I don't do it often, so I make it like a whole big thing. And that shit is so expensive, you end up spending like $30 on a fucking bag of candy and all this kind of stuff. Six one twenty three, your birthday this year. I can't remember actually, was it then that I saw it? Maybe not, I don't remember. Maybe I had intended to see it then, but then I ended up seeing it later. It wasn't bad, but it was kind of like, yeah, I know, you write your dates a little bit differently. You put the first day like normal people. That would be something I would do, like if I hit the lottery, I'll start watching a movie in a theater every week. Not that you should have to win the lottery to do that, but it's just like, it's something I either don't have the time or energy or whatever to do. Okay, see you tomorrow. <laughs> like normal people.